Hello, my name is Ken, Kilo 9, Kilo Echo November. I'm going to talk today a little bit about Ham Radio Deluxe Band Scope. Um, I know a lot of you people use the program basically for logging or for cat control, but very rarely venture out of your comfort zone and explore some of the other things that Ham Radio Deluxe offers its users. So today we're going to talk about the band scope. Uh, there's two ways of activating the band scope. You're looking at the main screen after logging. This is your cat control. And uh, you should have this all set up and ready to go. Um, if you take a look under the view menu, you'll have a various. If you turn that on, it'll bring up the second toolbar down here. And you can see the band scope listed here along with the audio grabber, audio browser and stuff. There's another way of accessing it up here from the tools. Go to the tools menu, come down the band scope and highlight it from there. So here we got it on. Let's clear the band scope there. The whole idea behind the band scope is pretty much it puts your radio in a turbo scan mode and will scan the band limits to see what kind or if there is any activity happening on the band today. Um, uh, this goes for a lot of you people who are always saying that there's nothing to listen to or you're getting bored with ham radio because you can never find a cue. So you know, if you're doing things the old-fashioned way and tuning around and turning the band until you're blue in the face, I can understand that. Um, there's so much space to cover, spectrum to cover, that it is hard to find a cue. So. But with something like a tool, like this tool, the band scope, it makes that relatively easy. Um, as you can see, the controls are pretty simple and straightforward. They're kind of like a VCR, forward, backwards, stop, and then you got a couple of uh, configuration buttons down here. I'll show you when we get to it. So let's start this band scope off. We're going to start this on the 20 meter band. I'm going to go right about the middle of the band here to start it, though because I'm not really interested in what's down here in the digital mode right now or the digital uh, part of the band so let's give this a start you can see the band scope starts scanning and you know the radio is moving pretty quick here so I'll give it a second here to finish scanning this As you're kind of listening, you can kind of hear the QSOs in the background as the band scope is passing over them. Uh, it's kind of helpful too. So here we okay, we scanned the band, and uh, I'm just going to take your mouse over and kind of look for the high points in in the spectrum here. And um, those high points usually represent QSOs that are happening or where there's activity on the band. zero in on him a little. Move the uh, line around to and scan up and down the band and find activity that way. It might actually be preferable than waiting for the band, to, uh, the band scope to actually finish doing its job. Turn this up a little so we can hear it. I know that's an easy way to find activity on the band. Um, select a different band here. You can do this on any band. Um, it really doesn't matter. So let's uh, give a quick scan of the 17 meter band just for fun and uh, see if we come across anything. kind of hurt some activity up in this area. So that was quick and easy uh, way to find the QSO. Uh, any time of day or night, I really don't care what time it is. I've never had the problem where I can't find the QSO or a net or something going on. There is always something going on. Um, amateur radio operators are 24 hours a day. Uh, some of them never sleep. 
there's always something to listen to. Just, just scan around, see what you find. Uh, we're kind of a handy little tool. Um, here we've got you know, this button with the scissors on it here. Uh, pretty much clears the display here. Um, down here we've got load the current band limits. Um, it'll you know, make sure that the spectrum display here is within the limits of the band. Uh, here we've got uh, your step size, your band scope options. Um, you can set it to scan a certain range of frequencies in the step. Um, or you can just change the step size here. Um, I've got it at 250. Uh, if we slow this down to 100, you'll notice that the scope moves a little slower. And the same goes for, you know, bringing it up. We bring it up to 1,000. Apply it. And you'll notice that it just whips through there. I prefer right around 250 though it seems to have the best results. It's a little slower but a lot more accurate. So that's a personal preference. You can also set it whether you want it to do it only once and stop or continue to go over the band continuously. You notice as the band changes each scan uh, your bar graphs here are moving. So it lets you give you an idea of where there's activity or how loud the stations are, that kind of thing. So that about covers it. Um, I know a lot of you are already familiar with this option and I uh, think this is old news. That's cool. Uh, the rest of you though, give it a try. Something to play with. K9KEN. My name is Ken.